Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the New York Mets. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And as we get set for Game 5, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration, but these situations tell us a lot about a team's character, and for some teams, it brings out their absolute best, but for others, it can kind of prove to be an overwhelming scenario to face, and so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Here's the catcher for the Mets, James McCann. The catcher, number 34, James McCann. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And he deals. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it hits the fence. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Backhand reach, but it gets by him. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way, and as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. The white fielder, Brandon. And now, Brandon Nimmo. Base hit, one run in already. Save, he beats it! Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. No outs, runner at first. The center fielder. And now Number the center six. fielder, Starling Marte. Marte. And a strike in there. The pitch. Swings, and this one's flare. And it's just foul. That is close. Righty to the plate. Fought off foul. Nimmo gets his lead at first. Nobody out. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. First offering misses the mark. Call a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. The pitch. That's hard hit in the line. Harper makes the play out number two. Well behind the runner, they've got him doubled off. Game five moves to the seventh inning now. We are tied 2-2. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Here's Harper now. Leading off for Philadelphia, the right fielder, number three, Rice Harper. Yamamoto back to work. And there's the strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 
Escobar makes the catch. And there's one down. So now it's the four hole hitter, Nick Castellanos. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Swing and a miss, and the count even at one. Next offering is in for a strike. Smash to the left side and foul ball. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself and two away to start the seven. Now that designated hitter. Now Kyle. it's the DH, Kyle Schwarber. First offering and it just misses. And it's one and one. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And that one fouled off. The one two. On the ground right side. He dives but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a play and they can't get the out. Big knock there to keep the now inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Runner at first with two away. D.D. Gregorius stands in for the Phillies. And it's fouled away. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. And a foul ball. That's the third out. One left for Philadelphia. The score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That one ripped left field. <laughs> Pete Alonso takes it deep. Just like that, they move in front. It's 3-2. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Next to hit, Mark Canna. Mark. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next offering misses. One ball, one strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Sir Anthony Dominguez up and throwing. Brogdon getting loose as well. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Next one misses, 
Full count three and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And it's even up. The pitch. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Back to first. Not in time. The batter, number two, designated hitter. So Dominic. now the DH spot, Dominic Smith. Smith. First offering is fouled off. On the ground, could be two. Over to Didi. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Understand why they all on me. I'm crazy. Don't get involved with me. I drop the top and feel this autumn breeze. You need gas till we can't be all on E. We go to the eighth. Stepping in the long ball threat, Reese Hoskins. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. And he'll work on holding this lead. Number zero. Adam. And a pitch. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. The tying run at the plate. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. So now one and two to Reese. On the ground to short. Toss to Alonzo. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now that the catcher, JT. JT Real, Real Muto steps in. In there and it's 0-1. Looking to get the tying run on base. And now the count is even. And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Now back the seventh fielder. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. One's in there, 0 and 1. Oh, and 2 now. Way inside, gets out of the way. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Left hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Hot shot to third. Into the outfield base hit. The batter number two. Second baseman. Gene. Here's the second Segura. baseman. Gene Segura. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. They say you win. And a one-two. And a swing and a miss. Third out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Bailey Falter. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Bailey Falter. And welcome back. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. Down the line towards the corner. Castellanos racing over to make the catch. Up next to the bat. The catcher. James McCann now at the plate. One for two. in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. This to center field. Pereira under it. And makes the grab. Two away now. The right fielder, number nine, Brandon. And Nimmo. now, Brandon Nimmo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bouncer to Hoskins. Hoskins takes it to the bag, and that is the inning. Down in order, go to Mets. But they still lead at 3 2. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Edwin Diaz. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Here in Queens, we go to the ninth. Now the number two hitter, Alec Bull. And here we are, ninth inning, elimination game, and they're trying to keep their season alive. They need him to get on base. He's got to find a way just to quiet things down, work his way onto the base pass so that they can have an inning and get back in this game. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next one is off the play. Two and oh. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Straighten him up a little bit. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. Man, it's so difficult as a hitter to get on plane with that pitch. It's breaking down and in, and you've got to find a way to match the plane. And if it's nasty like that one, right at the end, most times you're swinging over the top and walking back to the dugout. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Nick Castellanos, he's already homered in this game. First offering, misses the mark. Oh, 
The next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Next offering is foul back. Now all leave it up. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now only one out remaining. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after now, giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Schwarber in the box now. Takes a cold strike. Next pitch is downstairs. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Two outs. And another ball. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a pretty significant two-out walk as it moves the tying run up into scoring position. It's definitely not what you're looking for from your pitchers late in the ballgame. Gregorius swings through that one there. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low and fastball for some guys. Next offering upstairs. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Next offering misses, two and one. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Just one out away, try to close it out. Swing and a miss. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Two two now. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Down to their final strike. Center field. Marte glides back. And that does it. They win the pennant. They are champions of the National League. Congratulations to the National League champions. These guys clearly excited, and they deserve every bit of this moment. Enjoy it, fellas, but get yourselves ready for the biggest series of your lives. For my partner, Chris Singleton, and our great crew, thanks for watching the National League Championship Series on MLB The Show. So the New York Mets win the pennant and are on their way to the World Series. Yeah, what a win and just such a dominant performance. I mean, the way these guys rolled through this LCS and just watch out. I could see them doing the same thing in the Fall Classic. They've certainly got plenty of momentum on their side and they'll celebrate this one here tonight. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.